Alrighty. Uh, so, what were we doing in this last? I don't remember. I did expand a little bit. I did do some things offline, though, just to push things along. Um, like, I think last time I saw all this was still going, but it's actually all built now. Oh, we've also, um, as I was saying, even though stuff and things, uh, like, I haven't been able to do much during the week, but I have been getting some organizing some stuff. I don't know if you can see there's stuff there. There's stuff there now. There's some stuff there. I, I got some toys. And now, um, I only just got it working, but now, you can now, where is it? There it is. <laughs> it's there it spleens. There we go. Uh, it's all it's being used for at the minute. <laughs> fun things are fun. It means we can do so, so that's, um, an overhead camera and uh, I got a new webcam for an overhead camera and a light as well, so it can do some do some fun things with it. The box. It's funny because it's just sitting at. I only had the box because it's sitting at an angle. There, yeah, so it just sits at an angle. Yeah, that's that's behind me. <laughs> belt braiding. Belt braiding's good for you. It's good for what ails you. Um, this thing is aggressively braided, um, uh, to the point where if you're not comfortable with belt braiding, you're probably going to have a bad time. <laughs> just putting it light, just putting it out there. Speaking of, I need to clean up this too, because it doesn't quite connect. Anyway, oh, there's stuff to be built up here. Apparently, at some point, I pasted down another red circuit. I... Oh, that's right. There was a missing um, assembly machine in here. There was some landfill that was missing all this time. I think I might have spotted it before or something. But it's fixed now, either way. So, yeah, this base is taking a long time, but we're... it's getting there. There's, um, yeah, some oil lamp boosts as well have appeared. Um, this thing up here has also appeared. <laughs> uh, so there's some staging for, for trains now. Sushi every belt. Do you know, uh, Shred Guy, uh, one of his projects basically was that, had a um, dispatch and delivery system which sent stuff, like all the items to, to assemble, craft something down a belt, down a single belt, and then to dispatch it from like a make everything and then down to where it need its destination where it needed to go. I'm sure the, the circuitry to make it work was pretty sophisticated. I, I don't even want to know. Uh, so, this place has pretty much been finished. Like there. I think I must have cleaned this up in between. So, everything is now being delivered remotely. Do you actually have a train? No. I tell, how you doing? Hi! Uh, I'd say yes, if there is... Actually, there probably isn't. Okay. I... I am doing well. It's been a long, long enduring week, but... Hopefully we're, hopefully we're through all that. And I was just saying too, I got some new toys and, uh, to play around with on the bench. We can do some new and fun, exciting things. I was kind of hoping to get it going today, but mm, that wasn't going to happen. It's not fully set up yet. Hey, his name. Time to eat things. It sure is. Sure is. Eat things back to the Stone Age, I guess. <laughs> question mark. Question mark. That's one way to slow the game down. Uh, yes, yeah, so I think first things first things last. Um, I'm just going to expand this. Get it on its way. I mean, you do need it after all at the end of the day, so might as well get it going. Ooh, hiccups. There we go. <laughs> Not stupid at all. Look at that. 
That'll keep the game busy for a little while. Be willing to help me figure out what slot I have is for a slot, eh? Might be able to. Kind of curious. Slot on your laptop. Ooh, that could get interesting. Because it's quite often um, one of slots that they use for accessories. But that's not much of a thing now. It's more of a thing on older laptops. They always have like a, a docking port on the bottom or the, the rear stuff. And it was usually like re really obscure hardware. <laughs> it was only connect to that hardware too. But we'll see how we go. If nothing else, we can entertain curiosity. Hey, slab music. How you doing? Hi. Uh, right here. Let's return up here uh, and think about possibly expanding this some more. Uh, work on some more science. Uh, it also occurred to me I need solid fuel, which means up here as well. Because uh, appara apparently I completely forgot about. Well, I say solid fuel, I mean rocket fuel. Point is, apparently I completely, uh, completely forgot about um, rocket fuel. Uh, yeah, the pictures in Discord. What do we got? Oh, is that an early... Uh, I wanted to say... SATA port, is that a... But that's more like a Wi-Fi port, I'd say. I've seen Wi-Fi cards that look like that form factor. All caught up on the Factor X on YouTube? Late 2014. I mean, that, yeah, it's possible. It could be a, like a, a SATA... One of the low-profile SATA ports or a... Um, it wants to be an M2-style slot. As I say, like the, the little tip on the end, the little notch on the end makes me think Wi-Fi card, though. Oh, Wi-Fi ca card that looks like that here. I'm sure I've seen one that looks like that. Just unusual to have one that big in 2014, though. That's a bit unusual. Um, speaking of YouTube VODs, there is actually one more pending from the last run, um, which hasn't finished processing yet. It was slow uploading it. I'm sorry. Sorry. Uh, and I think we can manage beyond manage. Uh, so. I think I saw... did I see power go... Ooh. That's not great. <laughs> uh, that's another problem. I mean, at least it's using the, the, the fuels that are here. It's using the nuclear and all that. Not that nuclear burns any faster or slower, or anything. It's just making, making use of the energy that's being burned. Let's not stand on the track this time. Post hold, outpost. Uh, we want to go to ME hold. And ME unload, ME hold. Circuit condition. In. Ding. Unload. Empty cargo. Alright, so outpost hold it is. Populated. Okay, so it's not that. I, I suspect it's an older style. My first thought is. Still remain, yeah. My first thought is still that some kind of early M2 starter drive slot. In fact, I'm sure I have one of those lying around here somewhere too. Possibly. Don't know where. <laughs> somewhere. Hmm. I have to dig it up and have a look. Because, yeah, it just looks vaguely familiar. Uh, so, coming back over here, we've got our military. What do we get up to with this? Uh, we made those. What are you, your high tech? Do we make, uh, purple? Blue. I thought we did do... Or was there mistakes made with purple? It's entirely possible there was mistakes made, and so that was abandoned. 
think that is the case. Hmm. Alright then. I mean, we can put high tech here and then um, the the purples later. Uh, I wasn't. I was actually going to go all the way over there, and I realised I don't have to do that. Why do the USB connector not so labelled? Uh, hmm. Oh, that's probably the part number for the thing. Hmm. If I was to guess. Rather than not, like it may not necessarily be related to the slot. There's probably a, a internal reference number. I'll place that there. Then we're gonna go grab. Uh, is it that one? That one? Yes, yeah, that one. Slide it up. I want that about there, a boot there. Actually, no, I don't. Uh, I want a boot there. This one sits right there. Like that. Then we have two, three, four, five, and six, seven, uh, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, <laughs> thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, and sixteen, finally. It might be both inventions, look how it does seem to line up with it. It could be a combo slot. It wouldn't surprise me on a laptop. I wouldn't rule it out. Uh, as I say, I'm sure I've se I'm I seem to remember seeing something like that before. I actually need that too. Okay, we'll get rid of these, but I'll keep the bottom one. I just got to remember that some of these need to be side loaded. Um, also, did I say good good morrow to Durf as well? I don't think I did. Hi Durf. Delayed high, but high nonetheless. Not military. Now. Is there a simple way to make one train deliver fuel to different stops and train keeps delivering to one stop only? Uh, so, I've actually done that here, uh, this train, and it actually, all the stops are named the same. It was definitely delayed? Okay, I'm glad I got to it eventually. Uh, so we've named all of them the same. Uh, I can't easily tell it to go there, <laughs> annoyingly, but we can go there and show you. Narrow it down to an e, A or B key. Yeah, that, that's... Mm, I, think, I think you're onto it. As I say, like, I have a feeling I have a, a, an SSD that plugs straight into one of those. I just don't know where I'd, I don't know where I'd find it, though. It's like a really old one. Uh, so this is our run load. The... we have... Inserters that only ins remove when they're less than 100 away if a train sits here at doesn't go nuts. Then you have two combinators here, so uh, we attach the robot port, a decider one, so when we're greater than 100, output one, and that feeds back into one of these, which then multiplies that one by 50. And what that, so <laughs> I'm trying to think back to the example, you've probably seen this thing before in some capacity, and it's usually for thing Usually, attached something like this is attached to um, an accumulator. 
uh, for turning off or on Steam, I think is like the most common um, arrangement. Only this time, when we go above a certain value, we don't want the train coming back as soon as it falls below 100 again. And so what I'm doing is I'm adding 50 to the total result. So when it gets to 100, I'm now adding an extra 50 to it. So it's now 150. So, yeah, once it has over 150, 100 in storage, it now tricking it into thinking it has 150. And what that means is this then has to drop down, the storage has to consume that extra 50 before uh, this condition will go false again. There's actually a crap ton of <laughs> um, nuclear fuel too. And the end result is that uh, then sets the train... It's actually supposed to set the train stop limit. You don't need to dis enable disable anymore. So we set the train stop limit now. Uh, uh, about, I think. Uh, never mind. Able disable. And that equals zero. <laughs> never mind. Anyway. It is a PCI seat. So there you go. Huh. I, I, I thought it would have been an M2. So yeah, um, that stops, so th this simple circuit, uh, I hope this makes sense, uh, stops the train being pulled back into the one stop every time one gets removed, one fuel gets removed, bringing the total down to 99. So it's the same classic, um, uh, or technically it's called a Schmidt trigger. Kind of get it? Excellent. Um, I mean, if you need to screenshot these, uh, you can go ahead, or clip, either one's fine, yeah, whatever it is, multiply by 50, output that, that, <laughs> brain just exploded, it's completely naked silicon dye, oh, it's one of those, a, um, you don't see those very often, I used to have one of those, I used to have a, um, a Pentium 4 that looked like that sitting sitting around at one point. Yeah, it's gone. That used to be really common. See, the main thing is when when the the total amount in in storage goes above 100, then outputs a one, which gets multiplied by 50, which can then gets fed back into here, tricking it into thinking there's actually 150. And then. Uh, if I take like half of those, oops, that was more than half, um, there, uh, since so 63, I think I, yeah, I broke it, <laughs> I took too much out and completely reset it, uh, can I do this quickly enough? So yeah, it's, um, saying 64 at the minute, in the middle there. Now, this is going to happen super quick. If I tell that to go to unload. Uh, yep, there we go. So 64, 64, 64. It's going to be marked as pickup. A minute, 78, 80, 90, 100. Um, and now 154. So it just suddenly jumped up. So three separate copper heatsink pipes. I think it's actually over... Because they went into here, it may have actually overfilled as well. Uh, what's the actual? 124. Yeah, but now it thinks there's 174 because it's adding 50. So I th hopefully that should fully make sense. As much as possible. So I'm really, <laughs> really trying to make sure it's understood there. Um, yeah. Uh, how's our copper train doing here? They're worrying. Oh yes, sorry. There is. There is a wire. It's hard to see. I'll tell you what, I'll do that. And if I rotate it, you can actually see. I actually connected both apparently, but you don't have to do both. It's just either or. In this case, it'd just be the red wire. So, yeah, and then the train stop itself is listening for that. This thing outputting the one, and when. When it's not outputting a 1, it means that more needs to be delivered, so it's equal to 0 to uh, enable it. Right now it's outputting a nuclear fuel signal of 1, 
which is turning the train stop off. Uh, you, ideal, if you wanted more than one train, and then if you really wanted to deal with edge cases, you would set train stop limit, but that needs another combinator on top of it. Uh, because you would have to invert. Because uh, you're sending a 1 to it right now. As in, you would, you're sending a 1 to it right now, which would say a limit of 1, which means a train would come. Whereas you need to change that 1 into a 0. Say, when, when this is 1, change it to a 0. And I'm sure there's a way around it. I'd have to think about it. It's an older circuit from before train stop. Uh, train limits, train stop limits was a thing. I nearly, nearly got it right there first time. I'm more confused about what the Nakea chip could be doing. Maybe it's next to the... Say to USB 3.2. It could be a. Discrete. Well, the big one. I mean, the Ethernet is normally its own. Dis generally, its own discrete thing for the most part. But the big one will be a. Um, will be a. What do they call them now, nowadays? It used to be called like South Bridges. But it's, it's uh, PCH or something. It's just a generic, big, chongus peripheral interface. It has everything in it. Alright, let's extend the robo network. Like so. Just to put even more load on the robots. All I see need a need a heat pipe. Oh, that'll be the pulse transformer for the network, if anything. Uh, because Ethernet to put it on the wire needs a pulse transformer that is its final output. And that's also the pulse transformer is also the thing that completely renders um, the ether killer completely stupid exercise it doesn't actually the all the ether color does is blow up the um the pulse transformer it doesn't actually destroy the <laughs> network card it also electrically isolates the ethernet from from the switch gear switch end and some other things and also sets up the differential pairs so it's more of a ballon, really, than an actual electrical isol. I mean, the electrical isolation comes with it, but it's but it's really a ballon. Ballon? I'm not sure how to say that. It's a thing you used to get with TV antennas, for the most part. Uh, what was I doing? What were you doing? You're unloading. Very good. Carry on. Doing a bang up job. You're doing a very swell job. Why is it so big, tall? Like something. Um, it's just, because it has coils inside it, which is kind of unusual, they are generally pretty compact, but generally anything with coils is still pretty chongous. There's also, if it is doing electrical isolation, there are standards they have to meet for spacing and distance and things, which f forces it to be bigger. That's why opto-isolators are generally bigger still. They're still like full-on P-dips, or for surface mount ones, they're like gull-wing P-dips. And then, if they really push it, they might be super wide uh, flat packs. Just massive things. I've come across a few um, isolation, isolating op amps like that, where they're just massive, like, they don't need to be massive long things, surface mount, but they just are, because to meet the, the medical rating that they're used for, they have to be that long to maintain that barrier. Um, so, I once again was forgetting what I was doing. Uh, demonetized. Uh, we need to add uh, the stuff to this thing that does the rocket fuel at some point. At some point. I kind of don't want to do it now. Although I kind of should do it now, because that actually does the lubricant. 
Okay, then they can actually operate off now for me. Yeah, the um, if you put power into them, the uh, the yeah, if you supply power into them, the current goes through their ESD diodes. Only works on modern ones. Older ones which don't have ESD. It's actually it applies to a lot of electronics. Electronic circuits. Because they there's ESD diodes that shunt excess current to uh, excess voltage to their supply rail to try and bypass e ESD. And the end result is you can zombie power stuff uh, quite easily. Something's not powered right. It can be a real pain. It might be possible on some other chips as well, but most of them you're going into... Uh, I think a collector. Transistor collector. So it's a bit more difficult directly from, from its pins. Also fishies. Very important. Yeah, I know the struggle from um, having circuits power up, but sort of half power up uh, that way. Gotta get the fishies. Gotta catch them all. <laughs> uh, it wouldn't be one of my bases without it. I might need to jump wheels to to do the actual design though. Because I don't think I can I don't think I can come up with it on the fly, <laughs> unfortunately. Um this disease. Uh oop, we don't want to restart, we want to load game, we want to go to creative. Oh, that's right, we've got to fix the, um, yeah, there it is. Um, we did rail supply, and it turned out that was a very bad idea. That's right. Oh, boy. Alrighty, sneak warning. Alright. Murderate some trees, murderate some trees, murderate lots of trees and fishies. I don't want to get a new laptop. What would you recommend to replace an i7 47 quad core? Um, I've been leaning on, at least from, from my experience researching new laptops, uh, I'd be leaning on you know, R5 and or Ryzen... Uh, R5 is a Ryzen 5. Uh, or i5. It seems like every every time I come across a laptop which has, like, quad-core, i7, i9, they just can't handle it. The, the chip is too hot for it. Uh, definitely bare minimum 16 gigabytes RAM as well, which, which just cuts out a surprising number of laptops. It's remarkable how many that cuts out, saying nothing less than 16, because there's a lot of 8GB laptops around. Alright. Oh, that's the big Jongus one. That was our final form. Okay. Steal... Steal the whole thing. Start with this. Maybe a sneeze too. Just like that. Yeah, I'd be looking at somewhere around that region. Uh, if I, uh, I end up getting a Ryzen 5 uh, for my choice. Uh, but I... A pain though, because there wasn't much to choose from. But I like my... Th Smaller, 13-inch uh, uh, laptop size. Mm. 
tend to compare against single threaded performance. Um, seems, from what I c can tell, for the most part, the single thread doesn't help that much in the scheme of things. Well, my laptop's there slow. Oh, uh, you, mustn't, you mustn't have, have had a, a decent one. You get some pretty decent ones that are some decently quick ones that are nearly compact. It's usually the the super bait. Uh, you got to like. There's a lot of crap ones out there. The trouble is that there's not the good ones. Are, the price starts surprisingly high. Like mine was nearly two thousand. Want decent cooling? Yeah, that's the other thing too. Um, yeah, there's a lot of in that. Uh, I don't know what the US equivalent is, but I call it the, uh, the sa sort of, oh, nowadays it's more like 1200, 800, 600 to $1,200 range, which is, uh, pretty underwhelming. 86, wow, that's, that's quick. 86, no, that's, wait, no, DDR3 goes to 2400, that's like base speed for DDR3. So much you can do pumping hundreds of watts into a laptop. Yeah, that, that, there's only so much you can do. But, but don't, uh, the, the uh, laws of physics, um, don't, uh, they don't, um, decide to, to, to just sit on the sidelines uh, for laptops. Especially Apple. Apple can't make physics go away. All right. Yeah, you can you can actually get some pretty deep, quick laptops. Um, you just gotta. Usually, it requires a fair amount of hunting or spending money. Uh, what else do I want to do? Uh, that. I'm just thinking at the minute. Eight. Colonel Will? Hi. Hello. Welcome, everyone. Right now, I'm just thinking... Just thinking rocket fuel builds. Doing it all wrong needs more fun. Damn straight, it needs more faster. Do that too. Hi, Shaden Turk. Hello, and Adaba. Yep, that's. We're, we're definitely working on the more faster department. Uh, what was my prior build? It's the last iteration of this thing. That's not it. Oh, how you doing? Hi. That's it. That's that's the rocket fuel component. So we're going to need that. That's the solid fuel component. Oh, well then it attaches on to this thing. Barracks now. Well, well, well. If it isn't Mr... That's a real name. Um... Yeah. About that. <laughs> Hi. We're just working on uh, rocket fuel at the minute. You know that thing that does the the thing with the stuff and the junk. Yeah, it's like that. Ew. GPU front! Do I think you can get away with an iGPU now? Um, yeah. Like, that was another thing that I had to go through. Uh, like, it depends on how much you want to get out of it. You want it for actual gaming on, like, because I don't really game on my laptop, so I was w more happy to go with an integrated one. But the trouble is that, that, that there's not really any 
middle ground with GPUs anymore. It's it's like uh, it's it's like what is it? It's it's like the GeForce. It looks sinister, doesn't it? Um, G4, the MX110, which is like a 920 or something, or a 7, 730, I, I can't remember. The MX110 is pretty awful. And then there's the MX220, which is like a, a 1030 or something. Which is, actually, I know, I think it's older. Which is equally as awful. And then it just goes up to 1660 Ti. Like, there's just nothing in between anymore with GPUs. You just go from crap, land, crap junk, MX, whatever, 1030s and 710s, which are already landfill, straight out of the box, and then you're in 1660 territory, that's, 1660 is like the bottom end, it's crazy. I mean, current level of performance, making something that can support 32 gig of RAM, definitely aim towards 32 gig of RAM. Uh, you played Factorio on your i7, i7 Giant GPU, fine. Yeah, doesn't surprise me. iGPUs are really good now. And that was actually what I'm leading into, is that iGPUs have pretty much displaced all of those mid-tier cards. That's why 1660s and um, RTX 2070s are the bottom end now, because IG the Intel integrated and Ryzen integrated graphics have just replaced the need for them. Because they're, they're good enough. Uh, Neil. Changes things a little bit. Seeing as I've apparently... done it this way. Right on. Put everyone to sleep. Iris? Oh yeah, apparently Iris is, um, is uh, going to be really good too. Uh, and that's just going to chew, chew even f deeper into that high GPU market. Or that, that low-end GPU market. You're going to have some water. Iris XC is pretty stonk. Boxes. I I don't actually seen what what happens with and what's going on. Is that the actually no wait? Is that nook boxes like that? Um, the backwards. Uh, what's it called? It's it's the um, it's a thing. Uh, yes, technical terms. Very technical terms right now. Uh, it's a thing with the it's the box with the, the thing. Um. <laughs> Until the answer to the mini. I mean, that's it's Apple's loss. They kind of they kind of abandoned the Mac Mini, and uh, always they, they sort of did, and then sort of didn't, and yeah. Um, I can't think of what it's called. It's it's like a tiny little slimline. It's like a backwards. It's like a whole CPU on a PCI Express card. That's a good idea. Actually, it's in the way anyway, so they need to go there. I, I put it in the way of the pipes. I'm going to have to rearrange the those substations. Those... Ah, that's still not right. I'll tell you what, we'll pull that into there. Put that into there, that's... Can we balance that? Like that right there. Uh, same, same, opposite.
high throughput pumps? Probably. Uh, the thing that sets this build is the... Is it? I need to load 16 wagons with it. Uh, the mo modded pipes don't actually really change anything. They, they have doubled the capacity, but it doesn't change anything, unfortunately. Uh, let's see... I can't remember what it was called. Yeah, there's the Nook. Nook computes. There's also, I believe there's also a Ryzen Nook, which is actually better than a Nook as well. Uh, Nook Extreme, apparently. It's like a single card. That, uh... Uh... There it is. Yeah, Nook Extreme. That was what I was thinking of. No chassis, of course. Uh, yeah, there it is. That's the box that comes in Nook Extreme. That kind of thing there. Passing hardware through ESXi to a VM. Oh, that, that's that's some work there. Yeah, I was thinking about getting one of these to replace the i3, which is kind of kind of dying. Yeah, it's all. Oh, it's it's actually Intel, but yeah, I'm pretty sure there's an AMD equivalent that is, I think it's like a Seuss make. Uh, I don't specifically work in IT. I imagine Barracks Star would. I, I have dealt with virtualization before, though. Untick a few. You AMD. Yeah, it's an Asus thing. It looks like a floppy drive. <laughs> Tell me. Does that not look like a, bl a floppy drive? <laughs> Surely, doesn't that look like a floppy drive? <laughs> just, just from, just from, squint your eyes a bit, and then look at a, look at a glance. It looks like a floppy drive. Uh, what is it? A three Ryzen three. Tempted to buy that. <laughs> I'm actually tempted to buy that. <laughs> um, I mean, being Ryzen, it's sold out everywhere, of course. <laughs> What's it got? Uh, M2. Oh, it's bare bone, that's why. Yeah. Uh, uh, Ryzen 3 4300. <laughs> it's got VGA. I think a, um, a full Kajiga, uh, like actually, thingied with all the. <laughs> it's not helping. It's not that picture there is not helping with the whole floppy drive situation. Does it use the others? Yeah, it uses backslash. Just to be different. Or, or does Linux use forward slash to be different? <laughs> uh, it also, it, it all honestly, I think <laughs> Linux actually does use the other. Pretty sure it does use the other way. Like there, there, there's some weirdness there. <laughs> or neither. Um, or the um, the character that shouldn't exist. Uh, the pipe com character apparently shouldn't exist. Actually, no, it's the true pipe character, that one. There's, I think it was the unbroken one. Uh, no, the broken one, sorry. Not the unbroken one. The broken, one, broken pipe character is the one that shouldn't exist. It's, it's like only exists because of IBM or something. Idea would be yeah. You meant to mount it on the back of a monitor directly, uh, instead of like instead of having it as like on a bench thing. You, you just strap it to the back of the monitor. It's really, really cool idea. Um, it's not a new idea by any means. 
Uh, but it's but it's a neat idea. I I think the real question though to answer with Linux is that why is there why in slash dev is there sixty four TTYs? Like, what is it doing with sixty four TTYs? Why do you why do you need sixty four teletypes on 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 your Linux? That, that that makes no sense. But they're there. They're not doing anything. They exist. <laughs> why why is there sixty four of them? I noticed that on uh, uh, the Raspberry Pi OS <laughs> earlier this week. So why am I shopping for nooks right now? <laughs> God damn it! Let's get back to the point at hand. To say thank you. <laughs> this is going to really make sure. It actually also leads into another Linux problem that I had that the, as it turns out, if you don't have a modern monitor plugged in, the system wouldn't boot. The uh, the whole thing would just hang. Which is, which is, it seems like a bit of an oversight in all honesty. But apparently that's, that's intended functionality. I'm, I'm not entirely sure why. Kernel is default configured to allow up to 63 virtual consoles to be allocated to prior an API and map out events to switching consoles. See, that makes even less sense because you can't actually really use those consoles. At least, not remotely. Like, what would you... I, guess, I mean, I guess you could use... Uh, you could route stuff to them, but... As far as I understand, you're, you're not allowed to use remote consoles anymore in the normal sense at least in the sense that I'm thinking of I know you can SSH and all that kind of thing but like you can't Linux kernel had actual TTYs removed from its kernel so you can't you can't actually TTY into a term into the into the, the system anymore Never. I should also point out that this is a step beyond the stupidity of the fact that TTY still even exists, and it shouldn't exist. Continued existence is baffling in its own right. Ubuntu, I think it's old if it's, uh, something like that. It's. I've gotten myself in that in stuck with. Isn't it part of? Um, actually. Um, screens. Part of screens. Something like that. Those that don't know, TTY is a teletype. So the thing that goes super slow um, uh, thing for transmitting pre pre computer days. Um, those things. And that's 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 why I don't understand why it still exists. It, like there's no reason for it to exist. It uses its own encoding. It's I mean, the, well, ASCII does exist, but for the most part, they use their own encoding. Who's the ones when you broke a video driver? Existence? It's the, the teletype emulation on Linux. It's <laughs> why does it exist? It's just bizarre. Uh, is that meant to be a? Oh no, that's from the other thingy. That's fine. Oin. It's by serial over PCI bus. Yeah, that's that's sort of comes back to the point. Why? Why does it still exist for the, for that reason? Oops, we need those. Yes. Actually, surprising they didn't use like JTAG or something. That's normally how they're cracked. Okay. Just plug something. You just plug something straight into the PCI bus, and then it's like, oh, here, here, here's a, here's a console. 
what kind of person is running an actual teletype <laughs> um, on a Linux system? Uh, I'm really not getting this done, am I? I realize that I am kind of bending it a little bit and that teletype is really just a general... It's a, sort of an umbrella for serial console, which which is legitimately still a thing. Damn it, some guy's running... Some guy's running running um, Ubuntu. What's, what's the oldest currently business-supported version of Ubuntu? You know, four. It's like it used to be like eight Ubuntu eighteen, or uh, say like Ubuntu nine or something. But but it's, that's uh, long gone now. Um, and they're running on on, the, on their old IBM clickety clacker. Uh, what is it? IBM seventy four, or something like that. Came with a custom South Bridge to crank that. They had to actually crank that before they could get in. I mean, that's a bit of a hurdle. Uh, what was that? The 63 console is not always active, but activate, request open the console device, so entry exists at all times, rules, so has to be created manually before it can be used. Yeah, it's just one of those strange things. Ten dollars is some library in the middle of nowhere. Have you considered doing Bob's Angels? Uh, I did once, and then I did it, and then... Then I moved on. And then I was like, I don't want to do Bob's ever again. And then I did Bob's... Well, actually, I did Bob's on its own originally, and then Bob's Angels, and then Angels on its own, and that was kind of kind of dull. It's kind of weird, too. So this thing needs to do lubricant, among other things. Tea kettles yelling at you? Tea kettles tend to do that, don't they? Very demanding. Changed so much recently. Break your base. Don't fix your jitter Python issues. Uh, sorta. Still, it's so... I think the problem was I need to go back and forth over the data set a few times, ultimately. So I need to put them in... So I need to pull them into... Split them up into a rough sort array and then... Uh, organize them further after that. I think the thing that was making me go insane was that I was trying to do everything at once, and I don't, I don't think it's possible. Honesty. But um, I actually I get to look at that uh, next week again. Kind of don't like the direction this is going in. It also wouldn't hurt to actually work out what's trying to accomplish here, too. Pass them by, ra raised by reference to C++, it's not a total pain anymore, in case you ever need to process the language that... Language where loops aren't super slow. They hands on PCI 1x link to the serial... <laughs> I, I'm not surprised that they did. Uh, when, when you say that, I was like, um, I immediately envisioned that they sold it directly to the PCI Express bus. Uh, it's hilarious. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this thing... It works by maxing out that belt. Actually... C++ long live C sharp. I, I mean, if I was to go C sharp route, I'd just go C sharp. I wonder if I can do C sharp. I've only ever done C sharp like once. I don't really know how to C sharp as such. Uh, what am I looking for? That. I want this again. Let's upgradeificate all you and again.
any Audi. Can actually move these to here too. Uh, poles. Oop, that's not pole. There it is. I found it. I found it. Never fear, I found it. to be missing a thing. That's no good now, is it? The field modern Python ecosystem is weird. It's basically a bunch of engineers from Google, Facebook, writing C++, then making Python bots. <laughs> Play the code. Okay. That is, that is weird. They did the PS4 architecture and how it works. Absolutely crazy. I, I'm definitely going to have to look at that. I thought I'd blink and miss that one. I think uh, that's as good as it's going to get. Horrendously slow loops. Yeah, I mean, yeah. It's uh, it's a thing. Ooh, the modules. Yeah, you do. Very good. Escapes the language immediately into some runtime. <laughs> uh, the thing that's probably bothers me the most about Python is if I want to look up how to do something. I think, I, have I said this before? I probably have. There's a million websites out there. Just so many out there. Whoops, that's, that's the keyboard of the other PC. It'll tell you how to do real basic fundamental sh uh, surface level stuff. But then nobody will go beyond that. So unless you want to do something super simple, like, you know, some basic, you know, here's how to slice a um, something beginning and end. As soon as you go beyond that, um, or here's how to print a string on screen using the print command, and nothing beyond that. I only recently discovered that um, there's some percent %f string modifiers you can put in the print command to, to where you can start doing some really fancy things, and you can make it behave more like a, a C printf. But there's, there's no real explanation of how it works. It's just a mystery. And I just banged my teeth. With said glass. Share. Uh, and on top of that, there's like conflicting different... Like, there's like the Python 2.7 way of doing things, then there's the Python 3 way of doing things. Which also is an exercise in frustration. Uh, that needs to be a spinity chest. These F-strings. Oh yeah, I use F-strings for everything now. As soon as I found out about F-strings, I was like, I, I need these. They are so much better at, than anything else. So how far down does this go? Back to the Ampu. Uh, Ampu. Ubuntu support, Tommy. Oh, this is 1404. Well, uh, in April 2022. Have those weird legacy ways of doing it? <laughs> Always. You know what? I'm curious. Uh, I'm curious now. Uh, are you the thing that does the thing? No. I'm not the thing that does the thing. Where was my last. Ubuntu. There it is. The, um, it's gathering dust. Remember these things? These polycarbonate discs? Used to, used to, used to 
have software on them. And and now it's just a relic of old Linux distros, like DSL 3.2 and uh, Ubuntu 6.10 <laughs> and FreeBSD 8. Oh, now we're getting to the weird stuff. Xubuntu 6.10. <laughs> uh, let's dig deeper. Uh, CentOS 5. <laughs> Gets worse. Oh boy, does it get worse. Uh, dear. Yeah, and so on and so on. <laughs> Just made me think of that. Oh, actually. Oh, oh. Ooh. Is it? I think I just saw it. There it is. There it is. Genuine original. Uh, in fact, I can do it this way. There. There. I can get the right way around. There. An actual copy. Actual CD. Yeah, now you can see me reaching over and, and doing that. Remember those? Yeah. Uh, the um, the Ubuntu ones was sort of like AOL ones for a while, for a brief what time. <laughs> it gets, don't worry, the collection gets worse. There's like some open Seuss's in there as well. Seuss's? Susie's? Oh, who knows how to say it? I don't think it's I don't think it's pronounceable somehow. It's 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 a Linux distro at the end of the day. God knows how they intended how to pr pronounce it. Then changed the directory and found a treasure trove of undocumented commands for an older architect. <laughs> Damn. Command architect is written in PHP of all things, but then rendered in something else. Uh, now, the thing I needed to look at was... Uh... Uh, let me push some buttons. There. Orion, hey, happy weekend. Happy weekend to you too. Hi. Uh, no, we aren't actually producing those. We are producing. Why can't I see it? That's why. Uh, 22,000 is a little bit much. If you want to see Uncle Shred's manly war cry being exercised, uh, definitely check the last stream. Uh, that's 5,000. Uh, that's basically one. What's the limit? Basically that. Uh, I mean, the target here isn't actually. What do you need? Well, what do you need? You need seventeen, basically. How far can I push? Ah, there it is, four thousand five hundred. Uh, seventeen. We'll say seventeen. A little bit of back pressure can't hurt. Can back pressure hurt? Who knows? <laughs> Enjoying the VODs while you play Pirated on BDSM mods. <laughs> it really is, isn't it? Um, there is actually some more of these VODs coming. Um, I say more, and there's one. Um, it's almost ready to go. So, yeah, 17 of these Kajigas. First, whoops. Where'd the game go? There it is. I think that's my new favourite term for, for those. 15, 16, 17, oh, we're at 18. 
That actually does fix that uh, that odd oddness. So I'm all about the the, the seventeen. Yeah, PS3 was a cell processor. PlayStation 4 5's living testament how Sony will absolutely reinvent any standard bare minimums worthy of investment. Their, their willingness to reinvent anything is really staggering. Not as fun as cuter. Apparently it was a bit of a bit of a mess, the, the cell thing. It was one of those things where on paper it was amazing, but in practice it really wasn't. It was just such a... such a pain to work with. It just really couldn't... you really couldn't get... get the horses to work. How's the... Okay. I mean, there is item ingredient shortage going on. Probably take a little bit of time to... to build up. Uh, okay... What are we running at, actually? And also... Not a great tool chain for it either. Six ten ish. Going to AMD to implement the PS5 die on fire. I mean, that's where the switch metal. Oh, yeah. Definitely. Uh, oh, it was because I was hovering with the thing off. I will definitely be diving on to the next um, die shrink as soon as possible. Apparently that cooler is actually really cool. Um, pun and pun aside. <laughs> it's like it's actually really, really neat how they've done it. Very sophisticated. So what's actually running at the minute? That isn't. Uh, save. There it is. Can't have you running now, skewing everything. So, yeah, one of these. When I say one, I mean two. Three, four, and then we need another four after that. Four of these, these blocks. Actually, there you can. There you go. So that's one quarter of one load. Uh, now, the total needed... Uh, application error. I see. Oh, we need 27,000. Hmm. <laughs> right now we have... 6.30-ish? So we're a little bit under the target. Uh, so what are we? 27514. So 27514. So that's only 43. So 630 by 16 is 10. Oh, okay. So I only need three. I only need three actual builds. That's 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 better. Uh, that's just a log. Uh, let's see, so... Total number of... Uh, so this is what I'm looking at again. 
I'm still keen to see where they go from from here because there's not a lot much more not a hell of a lot more they can push out of uh, the current like can't really die sh keep die shrinking for much longer uh, where is it Can we coffee there's a button here that changes what your recipe, your craft recipes normally, uh, like is that. No, that's it. Uh, no, that changes the priority. How many atoms is a transistor now? It's... yeah. Yes. Yeah, it's like a... Fine. It's like, you can change... This, there should be a button to change this from cold liquefaction. I just can't see it at the minute. Minutes per minute, eight visible. Yeah, layout. Uh, better layouts now. Um, which is surprising that they're, they're actually so much they can get out of layouts. I wouldn't have thought so. Uh, that doesn't include what's already there. Where is it here? Ah, uh, here it is. I think that's here. There we go. Found it. <laughs> Never fear. We have it. Uh, 1.5. Okay. When's 3 nanometer happening? Uh, I mean, when it happens and when we actually are able to buy it are probably two completely different things. So it's 1.5 per thing. So that's a lot of oil refineries. That 1.5... Uh, so 3... So one of these, so yeah, 1.53, 4.56, 4 so that is six refineries right there. 0 would be invisible. Uh, yeah, the invisible processor. Alright, let's pick that up, park it over there. that. <laughs> it's like everything's holding it back now. It's physics, at this point, <laughs> you could argue physics is holding it back. <laughs> we as in Taiwan. Yep, cuz... They rule it now. I don't mean that in a bad way, but that's, well, somewhat more of a, a stab at um, all the outsourcing that went on uh, back in the day. So that's the product of it. Is it now t um, all the countries that um, all, all the technology was outsourced to are the only ones who know how to actually, actually work with it? So Taiwan, in particular. Taiwan and China are the only countries that actually know how to really fab <laughs> semiconductors now. Uh, 
Uh, let's move this down tile to get it on the rail grid. There we go. Pop one of them down. Each anymore. How many have you got? Eight. Hmm. I need room for the uh un train unload, so I need to move it down to there. So I need to move this again. That. So you know, unloads the here, we process it and then send it across to these four. Uh we're at eight. What did I say the thing was? I think it was six. Yeah, it was six, wasn't it? So I can actually probably get rid of these. Hmm. Hmm. So three, according to this, three do solid, 2.3 do solid fuel. Um, as in one. Of these, turn gas into solid fuel. I'm reading this right. I could turn the heavy oil into solid fuel, but I'm not going to. The thing that I wanted to get out of this mainly was uh, getting some lubricant out of it. Heavy oil. Uh, how much heavy oil? 10, 7, 7, 7. I'm not sure how to change that in this thing. That's a darn lady, hi. So there are those. How you doing? Give you the light. Wake up from a nap, watching a movie with a child. <laughs> uh, more impressed with that. Level 512, nanometer FTX, they halved the power use. That's a lot of power. That's a power drop. So, were you napping while watching, or. <laughs> Or is you just wait? Or when you say wake up, um, yeah. Uh oh, need these water. Maybe she wants to watch. It's so damn boring. Are they all like those horrible, girly, teeny bopper movies? Better life, how you doing? Hi! Some monster movie. Show the original Toy Story. Classic, that is. Having to be to be using next gen, IO dies. Mmm. Hmm. Oh, you're really sleepy, goddammit. <laughs> Toy Story, you wouldn't fall asleep.
<laughs> well, there's all this winning going on. Not loud. <laughs> Not loud. I suppose... No. Uh, go there. You go there. Like that. Uh, the heavy. The heavy. Can do that. So. There. Yeah, I could also just look at the uh, previous one as well. This one. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I thought so. I, I did it in line, fully in line. I could use those as well. Because there's some quite complicated belt work going on. Uh, I can't build there. I cannot build there. Still cannot build there. Uh, how about now? There you go. That wasn't so hard now, was it? My gigahertz networking technology still do wonders. Oh, yeah. Um, any any improved <laughs> uh, improvement on the node would be good. Okay. <laughs> you dearie me, me sleepy. Hey. Out it through here. Uh, oh, that's the oil feed. That's don't want to don't want to do that. Finally, put in blue, put blueprints in. That is a good sign. I'm gonna have to give that another. I'm gonna, or I say another go. I'm, I'm, what I really mean is finally actually finish my current playthrough, which I started uh, when it came out. Never finished it. Sounds like as good as excuse as any to actually finish the playthrough. Here's direct frequency radio output. Damn. That's that is a lofty goal. Not impossible. I actually need to look at satisfactory as well. Got a lot of life, admin. Or you can put aside time for it. My Mary. Oh, it's just to. It's just my way of. Um, uh, random roast beef. Oh, wrong way around. Uh, it's just to. Simulate the train, so it fills up here from these these um, infinity pipes. Then unloads. It can do it directly, but it's a little bit more controllable this way, and a little bit more representative of what a train actually does, because it's a train actually doing it. So, so it's kind of representative. Also, I need to move them. Oh, well, that's a terrible place to go. As long as I'm saving pipe somewhere, that's all good, though. Saving pipe there. 
Not saving pipe here, however. That, that, that's terrible. That is actually terrible. Okay. Copy and serve advanced, build, deconstruct, carry a single machine. Copying a single machine with sorters and replacing it. Fine. Don't know. Yeah, the uh, the the, uh, the the high frequency 5G needs the 60 gigahertz. There's a lot of interest in 60 gigahertz in general right now. Or at least there was. Uh, you going? Right, let's dump these for now. Cool, that's that's dumped. Just like that. Maximum factor is ability to build base. Once and copy and paste it into a new save. I mean, uh, yeah. I was gonna say you sort of can, but no, you, yeah, you can't get ya. Uh, that's. Oh. Kind of annoying. Oh, yeah, Starlink, um, a yeah, well, multitude of satellites. Stuff would benefit from it too. All kinds of satellite communications, because 60 gigahertz and that sort of general area is generally used by satellites. Uh, could write another water pie. Why am I yawning so much? I need more coffee. Want that there. Starthy's nap, isn't it? It's contagious. The hope was that you could, I could do something like that. It doesn't seem to be... The, the hope of the dream was that, but it's not going to... not going to happen, I don't think. The way I hope to play more TF2. I, I would like to do another TF2 playthrough at some point. Sky 130. Uh, the one 2001 era process. I was going to say one. Like, is that a? I was going to say, is that a YouTube user? Love Team Fortress. Didn't love Team TF2 as much. Eh, I was into it for a while. TF2. I never played TF1 multiplayer. However, uh, A E D T. It's about to change to A E S T. Google sponsored MPW. Ah, uh, 130 nanometer. It sounds so big now, doesn't it? It's like when when you look at older CPUs and they're measured in in micrometers and millimeters. Kind of kind of puts it in perspective. I don't know how I'm gonna do this. Gonna be wasteful of beacons. Super duper wasteful of beacons. I mean, I can get around that.
Oops. Do that. Cards. Paste it there. And, you know, plop that there. Yeah, it's true. I mean, only a few years ago, quantum, quantum computing was still only single bit stuff. Oh, you put oil in you. Mistakes have been made. Mistakes have been made. Uh. So like that. I've actually forgotten how many I n of these I need already. Give it a light. I'm, I'm going to go with start with four and see what happens. Uh, and hopefully that was that is the right number. Otherwise, I've got a problem. I mean, I already I already have a problem. It just compounds the existing problems. Either or. Actually, better. Yeah, it should save on its on a, a piece or two. Try to calculate the oil using that Kirk vector calculator. You hate it now. <laughs> the Kirk one's horrible, isn't it? Uh, that's why I use the Factoria. Or do you mean the Factoria lab? Because the fact I much prefer the Factoria lab one now. Over the Kirk McDonald one. The Kirk McDonald one's so clunky. So very, very clunky. I'm interested to see how the water supply goes too. pretty well, apparently. I was just so sick of the, th the, the, the website randomly stopping from working. Dump that. Like, you click on something and the thing would just spin for like a minute and then be like, ah, I can't do this. There we go, now we're syncing it. Ingredient shortage. Output full. Still piping water? Uh, for this one, yeah. I don't need that one. Stations. Blue uh, sixty sixty. As long as consumption is matching production. Oil processing bigger than lakes. It's getting there. It's getting pretty close to um overtaking lakes. Uh that is actually producing slightly more. Looks like I'll need pumps to help this. I just to move it. 
Barely. I see. How have I done? <laughs> That's Darcy's fault. Pulling honks, using me. putting into anything, which is a bit of an issue. Blah. <laughs> Chance on that game, about to fire it up first time. Alrighty. From what I've seen of it, uh, it didn't impress me. That's, that's... Like, it didn't really stand out as anything exceptional. That's, that's my take on it. Okay, in. Looks like everything's going too. Which is a bonus. AK still gets more for some, for whatever reason. I, I'll never understand why that is. Why, why it sometimes applies roles differently. I think it applies sub, sub rank first. Like in order of precedence it applies uh, the multiplier to subs first and then, then more, and if you notice then it checks for mod status. Seems like a bit of a flaw, really. Uh, it was originally... What was it originally? Ankbot. And then it was bought out by Streamlabs, and it is literally nothing has changed with it since they bought it out. Other than rename it. Far too long to get this far, by the way. Alright, so we got uh, 235,000 ish <laughs> um, idle oil a minute and 525,000. 525,000 petroleum gas a minute. Actually, it does make mostly petroleum gas. The next step is to plummet into here. Uh, do it something like this. And it goes a little something like this. Ooh. A. Okay. Yeah, no, quite a few, but not this one. <laughs> oh dear. Unexpected. Mm -hmm. 
That's also a massive miss. I also want to refill coffee. Uh, that's gas. That's light oil. It goes across like that. Bring that into there. I will copy that. And more gas. Actually, go there. There you go. Make that swell. What was it? It was like. 3... 2.3, so 3 per thing. 3 of these per thing. That's nice people there. Yeah, that makes sense. Let's dump the... dump this junk for now. Oh, yeah, that reminds me too. You want to see some evil genius? Because I might get that game. What are you backed up on? You're backed up on light oil. Which isn't really surprising. All things considered. Ever heard of Evil Genius? Evil Genius 2 was... It was a game... Oh, evil Genius 1 came out in the early 2000s. And they're now making a second one. First one wasn't very, wasn't. Uh, I wouldn't call it amazing. It was, it was okay. I think uh, in Boy the Boy stream I, earlier I said it was unlike the first one. It's not crap. The second one, uh, which is a bit harsh on the first one, but it's not inaccurate at the same time. The idea is you're an evil play the role of an evil genius person and you then have to build an evil lair and do do evil deedly do's. It's like prisoner. It's more or less it's the same style of genre. Same style of game. Just in you doing the whole evil doing the whole um, villain angle. Cartoon uh, what do you call it? Cartoon villain style thing. This one was very much, pri yeah, I'd say very much along the same lines as Prison Architects. You'd have, um, Gamified Life of Dorothy. Yes. Yes, that is it exactly. You'd build, your, you know, you build your lair, you'd fend off random, um, good guy agents using traps and things. Continue developing your lair, that kind of business. Hmm. I 
I mean, I'm getting four full bells. It's, it's what it's meant to do. Just need to readjust these now. Do I like sim games? I do, yes. It's funny, I, you, you'd think I'd be doing more city skylines, but nope. I'm, I'm really kind of done on that one. That one, for me, did somewhat come and go pretty quick. Another visitor. Stay a while. Stay forever. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Thank you, so, yeah, that's why you get a lot of transport fever too from me. Well, somewhat. Not, not a huge amount, but somewhat. Can't be collapsed down into a smaller size. The only thing I can do really is just expand this up. I would have actually done this in between streams if I'd have realised sooner. I was like, why don't you connect? It's because I need to pick it up a tile. That's why. Plugged up. Because that doesn't plug in. Vector expansion will be. I. Given that they got the space exploration dudes on board. I think they might actually be following through on their uh, their idea of expanding into space that they talked about way, way back in the day. I think they might be going for that angle. Not really a secret. I mean, they could still surprise us, but it's given that's his, that's his area of expertise, so it's kind of kind of expected at this point. Like Factorio's worst kept secret. <laughs> uh, okay, it's dumping the goods. That one doesn't have anything. It doesn't actually have. Wheel at all by the looks of that. Backed up on gas. I mean, that's not even going anywhere. Nothing worse than being backed up on gas, eh? Yeah. There you go. More so than before. I mean, they could also spin in a completely different direction to the mod as well. That is also a possibility. Okay. Now we just got to get the heavy oil, your light oil, uh, in. What's our target? Target's about 25.50. It is actually there. 
looks like it is actually, yeah. Hmm. It's making the lanes. Making the stonks. Okay. I need to leave it for a little bit and see where it ends up. I move those as well. Gives it room to build gaps. Yeah, that way when this one fills, leaves a gap, this one can uh, release. I think there is actually, yeah, there is actually one there too. Anyway. Yeah, that's, that's more or less it. Amazingly. I think I just accidentally hit control Z then too. Bye. Okay. It's just too bad that it needs m a mixture of medium poles and uh, some stations. Bit of a shame. Let's see if I can reduce these down to. I mean, it looks like I could quite comfortably get rid of those. Swings. Was that one, two, th one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, and then one, two, one, two. Mm, yep. I mean, this one could. Potentially feed both as well. Anyway, I think now's a good time to go duck off, grab a coffee, refill, stretch, wake up, all that good stuff, and then we shall continue on. I didn't go too far, I should be back in just a moment.